peace be with your soul. Ruminations or ruminations on the moon. Well, not while physically on the moon, but rather on the subject of the moon. It is very probable no human has ever set foot on the moon. 1. No matter where you stand on earth, time of day, time of year, you will always and only see the exact same side of the moon. Consider that statistical anomaly. 2. The moon is the absolute perfect size and shape and distance between Earth and the Sun to make the phenomena known as eclipses happen. 3. The moon is covered in craters. Even with the naked eye, monstrously enormous craters are visible. With even a dollar store telescope, you can see huge craters spanning hundreds of miles, craters within craters. Is it possible an object could withstand so much explosive bombardment and yet still be in one piece, perfectly round in shape, and still maintaining the same orbit around Earth? Meanwhile, while not rotating on its axis at all? However, NASA states the most likely cause of the formation of the moon is that a piece of ancient Earth broke off during a massive explosion as a result of an asteroid strike and became the moon. This, admittedly, is just one of NASA's theories. And similar to how Pluto used to be a planet, NASA may soon offer a new theory regarding the moon's creation and purpose. 4. So, what exactly is the moon? Well, it obviously plays an absolutely critical role in life on Earth. Just think about the tides. The pull of the moon's gravity has the effect of causing high tides and low tides on the bodies of water across Earth. The human body is approximately 60% water, so consider the effect the moon has on the water, which is you. When considering these great effects the moon has on Earth, it should be pondered if the moon was intentionally put in its place on purpose. Put there by who? Extraterrestrial, intelligent life forms, perhaps? Could have either created from raw materials or somehow transported the moon into place. Perhaps because these sentient life forms understood the effects which would cause an otherwise lifeless planet to achieve the conditions necessary to sprout forth higher intelligent life forms. This assumes a benevolent scientist type alien race. Contemplating the possibility of a less altruistic alien race Perhaps the moon was intentionally placed in its orbit of Earth, but as a staging ground for silent observation, missions, and reconnoitering. Perhaps God, the Creator, placed the moon in its present location to achieve humanity, intelligent life on the planet Earth. 5. Hollow Moon? Hollow Earth? What is on the other side of the moon? Now, before you dismiss the conspiracy theory that NASA never put a human being on the moon, please, do diligent research and investigation. Have you ever seen the Apollo Lunar Module? Have you ever laid your eyes on it at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C.?
Can you explain to me exactly what the D.C. stands for and what it means? Is Washington, D.C. a state? If it is not actually a state, then is it technically part of the United States? I digress. This is a completely ancillary tangent and perhaps a subject for another rumination altogether. Mayhaps I will title it Rumination DC. Stop and think. What do you know about the moon with regards to NASA sending astronauts there? How much information do you personally have stored in your mind? Unless if you work for NASA, you have little, very little information, data, facts in your personal knowledge database which is your mind but how could you as a logical rational reasonable critical thinker how could you so firmly say it's insane to say that we never went to the moon when in reality you have practically no information about it at all Another question that I ask is, how did no other nation put a human being on the moon? I encourage you to think about the moon and what its purpose is, and specifically how it relates to your own life. I admonish you to, as always, do your own research and investigation. The internet is perhaps the single greatest gift to humanity. Use it. Nota bene, final thoughts. The moon is associated with night. Nighttime is associated with sleep. How much sleep do you get on average each night? If you get 8 hours sleep each day, that is 8 out of 24, or one third, or 33% of each day. Since a year and a lifetime, your lifetime, is comprised of individual days, you then can see how you spend one third of your entire lifetime asleep. Consider. What is the quality of your sleeping surface? How much thought have you given to your sleep experience? I mean your sleeping quarters, your sleeping environment, your sleeping style, your sleeping rituals and habits. Please consider the amount of money which you spent to purchase your vehicle in which you spend significantly less time each day and consider the amount of money you spent on your sleeping environment. Peace be with your soul, brothers and sisters.